Hey guys, what's going on? It's Twintuitive717. I am back with another video. I hope you guys are doing incredibly well as always. All right, guys, I'm feeling, again, the need to share another reading. Just go ahead and support the Twin Flame Collective. Those of you who resonate with the Twin Flame journey, a lot of the times, guys, we get so triggered and we forget that it's not always about our counterpart and that this whole experience I think if many of you look back and reflect, um, your divine counterpart has brought a lot of significant changes to your life, a lot of awareness. Um, because of their presence, it's pushed you onto this path of wanting to get to know yourself more. And I think that for many of you, you feel that connection to them regardless of what goes on. And again, again no matter how difficult it might seem on the journey, especially through the tower moments, I've been down the road, I've been on this journey for years um, and I can honestly tell you that the good that's come out of it completely outweighs uh, the negative that um, you know I've experienced and support is everywhere and, and a lot of the times when you guys feel overwhelmed by this journey, it's okay to tune out of your counterpart's energy take a break from the whole twin flame journey the experience and focus on self and remember that you're also ascending and and spiritually awakening to many other things in your life aside from the connection or the outcome of this connection okay so i i thought i would use the archangel guidance card um cards here this deck to send out some messages for those of you that need support right now if you're having like a lot of um just moments where you feel very overwhelmed or the energy around you seems confusing is what i get because what i'm seeing with many of you in the collective is that you have really amazing days where you feel a lot of energy you feel um really high vibe and then there's also days where your energy might feel drained or you might feel exhausted um, and that's why I talk about self-care so much um, as a way of coming out of that because it's really just a state of mind guys um, a lot of you are going to the doctors and you're checking out fine with your health and things like that but still there's something about the energy in the air that makes you feel um, tired and a lot of the times um, it's the constant thoughts about the outcome um, at the top of the deck we have relationship harmony okay and I feel like with this card the universe is letting you know that during the times that it feels very difficult painful lonely on this journey um and i've been channeling messages for a lot of readers in the community because um the energy i i, I get um behind that is for readers to also uh just take it easy also um find time to relax guys and do things that um you enjoy spend time around like your pets for example meg has been around me a little bit more often than usual um but spend time with like people that you really care about and that you love um people miss you guys i know when you're a reader in the community sometimes you can feel really isolated and you don't even have to be a reader um it's just that i know what it's like to kind of just be pushed to put the messages out there but a lot of you um who are listening you know you're you're isolating yourself sometimes and sometimes it just feels better but then there's other times where um, you just feel that you want to connect again <laughs> what I'm hearing is that many of you are like man like so much has changed and a lot of you want to just be normal again um, and you will feel that state of, of being normal again it'll pass um, you'll get stronger and stronger as the tower moments come um, but you know I've just noticed in the comment section and especially with some of you that have been on my channel for quite some time um, you know just saying things like you're ready to <laughs> kind of give this journey the boot um i just you know want to be present with you guys and let you know that you know it is a lifelong journey and i completely understand what it's like to really just want to let go and move forward but i feel like you know we're more than um able to do this in a way where we're not having to put on a mask um like a lot of the times when we say we're done with our masculines it's just coming from a place of the relationship expectations the romantic relationship expectations um and a lot of the times we can lose sight of what the actual connection is there to do the life lessons that it's bringing and you know we, we get caught up on the outcome um and it's okay 
it's human nature. <laughs> I'm going to read the message on this before I jump to the life review card, but it says, we angels are opening the hearts of everyone involved. Arguments and conflicts are being resolved now. And this might just be like inner conflict with you and your divine masculine or you and your divine feminine, um, because I do see the both of you having a lot of flashbacks on your journey, having a lot of memories where you both may have handled things very ab abruptly or aggressively. But what I'm getting is that many of you now that you're reflecting or I guess in this state of um, mind here where it's a life review happening, especially as we're in the month of December for some of us, um, it says take inventory of your life and resolve to change or heal anything that is unbalanced. Um, and I think many of us have felt that this year, the imbalance with the twin flame journey, um, you know, digging deeper and deeper into the world of tarot. Um, there's just so much guys like I know there's been circumstances in the world that has pushed us to be online more and things like that but I feel things are, are shifting a lot and a lot of you are kind of you know reflecting back on some of the older fi videos that I've done I feel like a lot of you are learning to just spend time alone again like with yourself do you know what I mean like some of you are really disconnecting and, and making some conscious choices here as you go through this particular year because i think that 2020 was definitely there was like some really high moments you know like going back to like the middle of the year and stuff um and if you'll notice it's like a roller coaster effect you know there's been a lot of highs and a lot of lows um and as the year comes to an end sometimes you might experience more um like lessons that are are rocky at like bigger towers falling and things like that um when the life review card comes up it's like deep lessons that we learn um throughout life right um detaching ourselves <clears throat> from people that we've once um been very familiar with i know a lot of you are going through like separation and divorce or if you haven't gotten to that step yet you're certainly wondering if that's what it means for you if you've encountered your twin flame in this lifetime um and that has certainly taught us a lot um especially about like conscious divorce conscious parenting um it, you know we we have to do what's best for ourselves but if we are on this earth with children um you know there is a sense of obligation and priority that's there um and i think that just kind of figuring out that right balance is it's what's necessary like many people have mixed feelings about staying in relationships for children and leaving relationships for the children sometimes you might leave a relationship because you know that you will be a healthier version of you for your children um, and i feel like a lot of you who are um in that situation as well um like let's okay i'll get to that example in a second but i feel like that's a, an overall theme and a lot of personal readings that i've done has centered around this theme where there's this energy of waiting for your counterpart to leave their marriage or to realize that they're unhappy. But, um, you know, I can tell you that a lot of divine masculine and divine feminines are embodying the emperor and the empress energy and loyalty, um, especially to little ones or their children is a big thing. Um, the connection might be different with their karmic partner, but when it comes to con connections that they have with their children, they're very afraid to change that or tamper with that in, in any way and in fact the example that I wanted to give was I've dealt I, I've worked with a lot of you who are older um, or have masculines that are older and you wonder why they re like refuse to leave their karmic relationships even though their kids are adults because sometimes they'll say to you like okay it's because of the kids I can't leave um, and a lot of you might just be really confused looking at that like you know your kids are adults but for your masculines like it's not just about their kids age and whether they have to be there for them financially or not a lot of your masculines want to be there for their kids emotionally and sometimes not leaving their karmic partner and wanting to be with you is a form of protecting the relationship that they have with their children and i have personal experience with seeing you know an an older couple later much later in life divorcing and how much that's affected the relationship that both of them have with their children and in fact till this day they still don't have a relationship with their children um and they a lot of your masculines are, are afraid of this or a lot of your feminines are afraid um, of moving forward because of this because they are um torn um with having to 
figure out the right approach to consciously helping their loved ones understand their connection with their divine feminine and oftentimes we fall into like the toxic typical behaviors that come when we come here to earth that we see you know perpetuates and abuse continues and the narcissism and the cycles and things like that Um, so every twin flame is here to figure out how do i go about being with my twin in the most conscious way possible um, and and still be able to embody self-love and be the healthiest version of myself because there is also that um, unfortunate situation where people will stay for the kids but oftentimes the kids grow up in very toxic environments seeing two people who are supposed to be married and in love or be their mother and father um, you know or just their parents in general um, they they have to experience them at each other's throats or you know be very abusive to one another um, and I think the conscious way of doing it is to recognize that, you know, for some of you, you might feel like you're the problem, but I feel like sometimes it's the company we keep um, that sometimes may just bring out a side of us that's not healthy. Um, and a lot of you might be in situations where you might have a very rocky relationship with like your spouse, for example, and they're always making it seem like it's your issue or your problem or you need help or you need to. But I think what's the lesson there is that you need to understand and realize that your energy is just not the same around this person and you need to figure out a way to remove yourself from that environment so that you can be healthy for yourself um, and then of course be healthy for your children okay so that's that's another um, big message that's coming out with life review here you're so cute sleeping with the sheep you're just so spoiled What are you doing with the sheep? Is that your little stuffy? (laughs) Guys, she's like the sweetest little thing ever. Huh? She's the little face on my my merch sweaters here. Yeah, look at that. That's you. Yeah, because you're such a blessing in my life. Yeah, you keep me grounded. All right, guys, let's get back to the cards here, even though she's like secretly trying to use it as a pillow over here. Let's go ahead and cut the deck. All right, passion. Okay, so a really great way of feeling the joy on this journey is to continuously explore your passions. And that's another thing I've been working with a lot of you with in personal readings is that many of you are wanting like independence in the form of like having your own business and it all starts with like well where do I start like how how do I get started and for me like guys I went from working in customer service like (laughs) I never thought I would be sitting here on YouTube you know with such an amazing community of people and and you know doing like personal sessions with people it's always been my dream don't get me wrong (laughs) But um, I didn't, back then when I used to work um, in customer service, um, I remember before work, I would start my shift at like 8.30 in the morning and I would sit down in the parking lot because at the time I had to drop my husband off to his job and we worked right around the corner from each other. So he started earlier than I did, so I'd have to wait in my work parking lot until my shift. So I remember before I started my channel, I was getting guidance back then Um, And this was just like approaching the time where all of that stuff went down (laughs) with, um, you know, taking them to the Human Rights Commission and stuff like that. This was just like maybe six months before this all happened. I would sit there in my work parking lot and I was really like foggy. I'm sorry, did I scare you? Sorry. I was really foggy in my brain. Like I knew I didn't enjoy doing what I was doing. Um, specifically because I kept getting guidance about um, like working for myself, being my own boss. I didn't like the work environment. I didn't like having an answer to my manager. I didn't like how some of my coworkers were so smug. People in other departments were just, I don't know, just the energy was off, you know? I don't know, like I, I, I would always compare it to like being in high school again when you enter the working force, you know? It's just... I, I always felt out of place and I always felt uncomfortable. So what I would do to distract myself was really just like dig into my work. <laughs> um, but anyways, guys, back to the parking lot story. I would sit there in my in my work parking lot and I would just 
do affirmations over and over and over and over and over again i would think clearly i would think try to hold a thought for as long as i could about how where it is i saw myself what it is i wanted to be doing you know i kept i would ask myself over and over and over again okay well what do you love doing what could you do that would make you feel so great um and i really had to coach myself and and, and talk to myself um because if i didn't do it nobody else was going to motivate me in this way so as uncomfortable as it was because there was a part of me that was passionless <laughs> i knew that what i was doing was not who i was and I, i and i think that many of you can resonate with this if you guys are on the spiritual path but there's a burning desire within you um to to be something great and you can feel it that it's in there somewhere you feel like you have this great big purpose but when it comes to the action steps i think many of us just kind of fall flat um but everything takes work everything takes hard work and the best thing that you guys can do when it comes to delving into your passions and allowing yourself to to go there is to know that everything takes time it will take time and it will take hard work but i can tell you that when you look back that hard work and and all of your blood sweat and tears it's 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 really going to give you this feeling like you're going to be so proud of yourself and for many of you you may not have ever you know felt that to the core from anybody else around you and you guys are going to be the ones to give yourselves that feeling and it's going to heal a whole lot of inner child stuff <laughs> so to think about your passions you guys have to connect to source you know whoever you resonate with is like god or or just something beyond yourself that you connect with deeply um that was another big eye opener because i had to feel like i didn't have to do this alone and i went out on a limb and i started praying and i started one thing i didn't like just pray for whatever i wanted i prayed for things like you know please give me the ideas and the motivation and help me find the right resources and people to connect to that, to help push my ideas forward like i really had to get down to the nitty gritty and be as honest as i could about what i wanted to attract into my life um and a lot of you guys will know exactly what it is you're good at people will tell you about it all the time even if it's not your job that you do it's going to be something else about you the way you make people feel on the inside you're able to shift people and change people in some way whether you're funny whether you can connect to an audience whether you can soothe people and, and be there for them in a way that is supportive and loving that's going to amount to some type of creative career it just takes exploring what that is okay so you know for a lot of you a really great way of of connecting to your passion and really getting the abundance that you need to to do a lot of what you guys want to do especially when it comes to moving towards your independence and somehow many of you might feel that uh that is also a very important part of your your journey with your twin okay and they might be mirroring the same lessons to you um as well like whatever you guys might see them experiencing or dealing with in their own life is going to mirror what you're going through a lot okay so i'm going to read the message on this one it says trust and follow your renewed passion in your love life and career and i love that it says love life because i totally thought it was going to be all about uh, <laughs> careers or passion or just that one's energy um but i love that it says love life because you know again i i feel that many of us are just feeling more comfortable in our own skin feeling more comfortable with who it is we are and even with myself um just diving into the readings that i've been guided to share and certain decks that i've been guided to buy and you know i've even been guided to start writing up my own decks um it feels really good to just continue to share more and more of who it is i am and and share even deeper insights and parts of myself with you guys um as i go along because i can honestly tell you that you know you have the idea you follow through you take the action on it and you know all of a sudden your mind starts opening up you guys are going to be like i don't know how i thought of this or where this idea came from but i'm going to do it and more so you guys get the courage to do it you're not going to sit there and ponder and ponder and ponder you're going to sit there and you're going to go 3 2 1 let's go and you're going to get off the couch you're going to shut off your phone shut off that app and you're going to get to it even if it's taking out a pen and paper 
if that's what helps to ground you into getting serious about exploring your passions and what makes you tick and what you can make money from in order to start creating abundance it's going to take putting yourself out there it's going to take facing criticism keep going keep going because this is about life review now and passion okay so i'm going to put these cards down and i've been wanting to work with the light series just because i find the artwork on it really beautiful really gorgeous Am I just waking you all of your cozy time? <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and shuffle here for a bit and we'll see what messages come up for you guys to just kind of end off this reading and to what pentacles is coming up. And just let you guys know like what's next, what what the energy is in the air. We have the high priestess at the top of the deck and what I'll do is just take what's at the bottom. We have the seven of wands coming up. So I'm drawn to the seven because I do feel like in order to start attracting, you know, the two of pentacles or get the ball rolling, no more procrastination as well. Um, and, and just make a choice. Um, I feel like a lot of you have explored your passions, but it's like there's so many things that you could do. And the two of pentacles is asking you to make a choice here because in order to just get started, you guys are going to have to follow through till the end. No more dabbling in things. Um, you know, starting up one project and then you don't like it or it takes too long and then you go months without doing anything else. Um, the Two of Pentacles is asking you to explore your passions. You know, the Seven of Wands sense to feel confident about the things that you do. So when you guys are thinking about what it is you want to do, don't think about what's going to make me the most money or, you know, like, how am I going to like i don't know how to put it into words but it's like don't try to be like something shiny on the outside and then when you get to the nitty gritty it's like you know you guys have to really really push out and put in the work before you start thinking about numbers or um how much money you're gonna get and because a lot of the times when you start doing like your own business it starts off slow um, and it's a game of like waiting and patience and giving more than you're receiving because that's what's going to get people to trust you and to do business with you and you know it's going to give you guys a lot of experience when it comes to working and, and growing customer service because when you're working by yourself or you're like a one man or one woman one woman show your customer service better be the heart of your your business right your enterprise so connecting with people and giving more than you're receiving sometimes can go a really long way um, when you're just starting up and that's why i always say like if you guys like blogging start an instagram start a facebook start pumping out life advice parenting advice makeup advice beauty advice like whatever you guys are passionate about start pumping out content for free because the chances are if you guys are passionate about it you're reading a lot about it you're probably an expert by now with all of the content that you've learned um, about a particular subject by now break it down into little chunks or little segments or little videos or blog posts and share it and you will build up a community of your own um, there's a lot more than just youtube there's sponsorships with different companies will pay you guys to be free advertising for them they will send you their products to test out and you guys can give honest opinions and you know there's a lot of ways to make money online right now but again with the dual pentacles it's about making a choice right <laughs> it is so difficult sometimes and i was there i was like at first i thought i was going to put out ebooks and you know again i had to be honest with myself it was a it was it was great but i, I didn't enjoy the process it wasn't exciting um, and so i kept exploring and um, I can honestly tell you that what I do here on YouTube, it, it kind of um, exercises a lot of different passions that I have. Um, so pay attention to things like that when you guys are deciding, okay? But also I feel like, you know, it's time to stop juggling here. If you guys can see her, I know Mega's using, using the cards here as a pillow. But, you know, if you kind of just look at her, juggling these ideas is what I feel. Um, it's like just grab one, grab a hold of it and, and run with it. Um, and if you guys, again, need to tap into ideas or get to know yourself and who you are, remember that the high priestess energy is, it's all about like taking a, a time out and, and going within and deep knowledge is about not being afraid of your passions. Like a lot of you want to explore tarot, but you're so scared of what other people are going to think. I too sometimes struggle when people catch me off guard and they're like, oh, so what do you do now? Like I recently went for a haircut and um my hairdresser i hadn't seen her in in so long 
Um, but she was like, so are you back at the office? And I, I got so nervous, guys. But I eventually just told her, like, no, I'm on YouTube and I, I do tarot. And she's like, oh, oh, uh, is that like fortune telling? And we got into a conversation about it. And, you know, she ended up taking down my channel name. She's like, this is great if I ever, you know, spark up a conversation with people. Um, especially, she tells me she has a lot of... Um, female clients and I told her that I do work with a lot of women as well um, and she took down my my information and said that she would pass it on to anybody who's ever interested and at first I thought I was like oh man it's totally taboo to talk about it but you know again at the end of the day it's just feeling more comfortable in our own skin and feeling good about what it is we do so for a lot of you you might have to start being honest with yourselves right about um where it is you want to be and, and stand up to people who might feel like they know better than you do what your path should be um, because the high priestess again is all about having like a deep knowledge about herself okay a lot of personal power you're able to speak up for yourself you don't really care for the opinions of society because it's all it's almost like you see through everything you know so when you guys can sit with that high priestess energy you know sink into your own self-esteem do what's right for you because the high priestess you know she'll li she'll listen to what other people have to say but she'll still make her own decision at the end of the day because it's her life you know and i always tell you guys on this journey this is your twin flame journey okay so yeah that's what i have for today i hope you guys have enjoyed mega's company um yeah <laughs> she's definitely uh been around me more and it's so grounding she's so cute okay all right guys i love you guys take care and um yeah i'll speak to you soon okay all right bye